believe it or not, I've been working. Somebody hired me. It, it was like a Hanukkah miracle. The last day of Hanukkah, no, the seventh day of Hanukkah, um, I had a interview online with the uh, school principal and uh, she liked me so she said well if all your references checked out you have the job mm -hmm. so I said yes yes I'm interested so the next day the last day of Hanukkah the eighth day of Hanukkah I got the email that says I uh, you know take your new employ employee orientation online etc etc and um, then I didn't hear from them for like 10 days because it was the winter vacation for the schools. And uh, after that, you know, I went through some more uh, paperwork in person. And, um, and today was my, let me see, let me see this. Today was my 13th day of working. And that's why I haven't posted anything because, you know, getting used to uh, the routine. I, I go to bed very early, like 8 o'clock at night, and I get up like 3 o'clock in the morning because I want to do all my stuff, exercise and read and study and take care of the dog and cook and all that. And 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 my outfits take so long. You know, I want everything to be professional and um, be comfortable and all that. So uh, <clears throat> in the beginning, it's very stressful and very tiring, but you know, then I got used to it, and I today I feel pretty good. And you know, when you work in a school, uh, you get uh, spring break and winter break and summer breaks. And um, this is a temporary job, but you know, they're saying usually something opens up, and you know, you get to have a permanent job. And in the beginning, they said there's no benefits, but uh, the first day they said, you know, you will be getting benefits. So. All of a sudden, I have a paycheck. I have insurance besides the Social Security. And um, and what I love about it is is the children. Just They're just so cute, and they're so interesting, and they're so stimulating. Even the ones that, that behave bad, which there's plenty of them in today's society, they're even so fascinating. So um, <laughs> it's been cold. And uh, when they were explaining the job, they had that famous saying, you may be asked to do other things. Because I was told I would be translating, uh, you know, Spanish to English, English to Spanish, and that I would occasionally be in the clinic, uh, you know, when the health uh, assistant, you know, wasn't available. But all of a sudden, all of a sudden, you know, I have to, um, you know, watch the kids while their teacher goes and eats lunch. I have to stand there with a plastic bag and while they throw out their paper trays with all the food that, that they didn't want to eat. You should see the food waste. It's amazing. And I have to, you know, walk kids to class. We're not allo allowed to let the kids be alone ever. So, you know, if they come in late, no matter, even if they're in the fourth grade already, you know, we walk them to their class. So it's not supposed to be a teaching job. It's supposed to be non-instructional. But, you know, like the saying goes, you may be asked to do other things. Uh, you know, you have to help the student. Um, so I, <laughs> I'm learning things that I don't remember learning in elementary school, like, what is a rectangular prism? And but I like the review. I, I, I love to learn things, and um, I have to pay attention to what the teacher's teaching because if I need to tutor a student, I need to explain what she explained. So it's just very interesting. And even though in the beginning it was a little scary driving in the dark before sunrise because school you know I have to be there at 7 15 and it's so cold now this is what I was wearing today um, we're allowed to um, we're allowed to wear jeans as long as there's no holes in them <laughs> imagine wearing jeans with holes in them at a job and um, 
they call it business casual. In the beginning, I was wearing boots, and it was so uncomfortable. Then I saw everyone else was wearing sneakers. You have to do a lot of walking. You get two minutes between class to go to the next class that you're you're helping out with. And um, <laughs> lunch is a really big deal. You know, this line of students, and you pick them up at the cafeteria, and and you walk to the class, and some of them drop their trays, and there's rice everywhere. And um, it's just, it's just stimulating. And all of a sudden, I, I just feel alive again. I feel like I have a life again. And um, I think everyone should work. And you have to remember, in the Bible, there is no retirement. No retirement. Why? Because it's not good for us. So I hope this lasts. And the interesting thing is, seven miles from my house, there's a rehab center, you know, for older people. And I could work there for two days a week and make more than what I'm making five days a week at the school. So why aren't I there? Because I just love to be where there's learning and where there's children. So I'm thinking, well, you know, let me do half and half, or, well, not exactly half and half. Um, like in the summer, you know, I don't need to be here mowing the lawn, you know, two or three months. I could, you know, take a few weeks off and, you know, take care of things around here and maybe work like, you know, six weeks in the rehab center, you know, for, you know, days they need me. And this way I'll supplement this sort of low income. It's, it's not bad at all. It's, you know, it's it's more than uh, than minimum wage. So I just wanted to give an update and explain uh, that I have not disappeared. I'm just getting used to my new life. My dog cries every day I get home. He just doesn't like it that I'm gone so much. But, you know, somebody has to pay the bills. Now you see this balloon here? It's been many weeks. I bought it in Dollar Tree, and it's still floating, a helium balloon. I don't get it. Anyway, <laughs> I'm still floating, too, and um, my advice is if you need money, go to work. You know, I, I tried for years applying for jobs, and I think my problem was I was applying only in the medical field, and I should have went to the schools in the first place, you know, because I was a, I was coordinator of school health for the health department for a few years. So, you know, that's where my experience is. So what else can I say? Um, I hope you all are all right. And I hear things on the news that make me worry about some of you that are living in certain countries. But... Uh, you know, look who's talking. I'm in the United States, and look what's going on here. I still think our immunity is based on our lifestyle, and they don't tell you everything. And if you want to know the exact, almost exact ingredients that are in the COVID vaccine, um, go to the British newspaper online, The Independent. And they list the real ingredients, um, and some of them are really surprising. Now, um, one of the things that's in it, they don't say what antibiotic, but they just say antibiotics. And I had an allergic reaction years ago to an antibiotic, and if they're not saying which one it is, why should I take a chance? Because if you deliberately take something you're allergic to, the next reaction could be, a lot stronger than the one you had before. That's all I'm going to say about that. I gotta cook, I gotta do dishes, there's dust everywhere, there's trash everywhere, there's laundry everywhere, you can imagine. But it's all worth it.